Hey, man, look, see, that's what I'm talking about. Miami Heat think they all there because they got James, Wade, and Bosh. Them caps was up by 24, man. They ended up losing by three. Man, turn it. But look, man, everybody know that Miami got all these crazy ways of playing. You know what I mean? They got, they playing pick and roll all day with the fours right, and the guards. Right, right, right. And everybody and their mama know that Miami is little compared to Orlando. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's that's all. All. Oh, man, I mean, hey, then Orlando got stupid crazy. Man, yeah, crazy. man, them cats jumped out there. 16 out of 29. Man, they were killing them, man. 16, 16, no, son. That's what I'm talking about. They turn around and hit another 18. And where was the heat at? Them jokes who? was nowhere to be found. Oh, that's yeah, what I guess they were down in South Beach swimming in tan. All the back <laughs> <laughs> like my man Dwight say, man, you either play hard or go on and sit down somewhere. I got time to go home. Man, wait a minute. Look, man. Lord have mercy. No, here we go. It's third Sunday now. Last time you pushed me back the first Sunday. Yeah, man. Can I, can I please get the razor this time? Yeah, Rev, I got you. I got you. Y'all stop, Mr. A. Mr. A. Should Miami be worried? Now, they have these huge leads, but they end up blowing it in the end. Now, the, now the Lakers, what's the team? The Lakers? Yes. The Lakers do that, but most of the time, they end up winning, though. That's a real team. Right and you know what? To be honest with you, young fellas, I don't even know. Because I wasn't even watching the game. You no, watching no, the game? Yeah, I was watching CNN. CNN. Keeping up with all that so foolishness that's going on over in the Middle East. Y'all ain't seen that? Uh, yeah. Man, things are getting real bad, I tell you. And I tell you, it reminds me a lot of what my mom used to tell us when we were little young kids. You know, that we living in some last days. These are like the last days we living in. We've been living in the last days for the longest. What? We've been living in the last days since the 50s. Ain't that right, Ralph? Man, don't even want to be me for real. Man, whatever, man. Look, man, can we all chill out with that today? I'm just trying to get a cut, man. That's all I came to do. Wait, wait, wait. Listen, 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 listen. I tell you, we can't just bury our heads in the sand and, and just pretend like ain't nothing's going on around us. Look at all this stuff that's happening and going on around us right now. These high oil prices, gas prices, five dollars a gallon. Guys, this stuff, I tell you, it's directly tied with all that mess going on over there in Libya and Egypt. Oh man, hey, that's what they want you to believe, man. I bet they got plenty of oil. Look here, man. Them big cats up in Washington D.C. They just want you to shake every time you get a boot, man. No, 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 no. I don't think it's as simple as that. Mike, baby, come on, man. Don't tell me they got you drinking the Kool-Aid. No, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Come it on, seems man. like there's more to this end of the world yeah, business, yeah, yeah. Bro. Come on, bro. I mean, Tim, come, come on, on, brother. James. We ministers of the gospel, man. Yeah, we got to be feeling this too, man. Whatever. Come on, bro. Whatever. i tell you something else. A couple of weeks ago, I was over at Hopewell. Mm -hmm. yeah, I've been over there. Yeah. Papa Shields, yeah. he was preaching all about that rapture. Yeah. Yeah. And I tell you, from what he was saying, yep. if you ain't ready when it's coming, you're going to be left behind. Yes, it's going to be bad. It's yes, going to be terrible. Be come on, man. Oh, man. Come on with all that. I'm trying to tell you, young fella. Hey, we're trying to have a prayer you. meeting up in there, or you going to go ahead and use them clippers and cut my hair? Hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. listen, who's coming? Man, that? Hey, get me my mirror. Son. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I know that's right. Look here, man. If the world is gonna come to an end, I show have to get to know her better first. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Miss How you doing? I'm fine. Good morning, Mr. A. Pastor Tim. Uh oh. Good morning. Hey, good morning there, Pam. Hey, little William, how you doing? William. I'm okay. You know, Pam, I'm almost done here with Pastor Tim, if you guys want to wait on me. Oh, well, do you mind if I leave William here and come back in 30 oh, minutes? Oh, hey, 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 I'm almost done. No, I no, 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 it's all right. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run up the street and get my nails done. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Tops. Oh, that's fine. Lil' William, I keep an eye on him. He'll be just fine. Just right. right there. He'll be Thank okay. Thank you, Mr. A. Oh, you're welcome, sweetie. 
past the ten. Yes, ma'am. Will I be seeing you at the well in the morning? You certainly will be seeing me at the well in the morning. All right. A.M. Well, I look forward to it. All right, sunrise. See you later. Hey, be good. All right. That ain't right, Pastor man. Tim, mm, um, yes. mm. will you be at the well this <laughs> Sunday? Oh, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> but I certainly plan to be. That's foul, man. You know that's foul, man. Watch out, man. Boy. Look here, little man. Uh, you hey, you and your mama got plans today? Oh, hey, man. I mean, I was just asking what the hell's man. Hey, man. Hey, 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 man, you wasting your time, man. What's up? Didn't you see the way she came in here and strolled oh, yeah, on yeah, over I, there and looked yeah. at the preacher and said, Uh, yeah, I saw that it. I saw him. it. You know what? Reverend, all that told me was after all these years, the only missing ingredients mm. was the collar. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, hey, <laughs> Well, all right, all right, all right. You're looking good. Come on, William, you're next. Hey, you next. Come on, set him back. Let me get you straight right here. All right, solo, William. I hear you got baptized over at Hopewell last Sunday, man. Is that true? Yes, sir. I also said a pop shoes about the rapture and going to heaven. And I told my mother I want to go to heaven when I die. And now it's going to hell. I want to be with Jesus, just like we learned in Sunday school. Really? Doing what? All right. All right. Hey, nobody wants to go. I can't really. Take care of yourself, man. All right, man. Y'all take care of yourself. What's up, man? Hey, y'all don't want to go. 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 Come on. Hey, what's up, Jack? Man. All right. Hey, how we going to do this? You going to keep that fro or we going to do that on the face? What we got? Soon the church will be complete and Christ shall come again. Maybe Sunday morning rapture. If he does, many will be surprised. Many are going to cry out. Many will be sitting where they're sitting right now. What are the results of his coming? The bodies of all those who died trusting Jesus will be raptured to meet him in the air. The living Christians will be snatched up, snatched away, right out of their pews if it occurs on Sunday morning. The lost living ones will be left to face the seven years of great tribulation. It's going to be joyful for those who are raptured but it's going to be sad for those who are left behind. Hey, man, come on. Come on, Duncan. Oh, come on. Yeah, man, come on. Come on, Duncan. Good boy. Morning, Riley. Morning, Frank. Up and at it early this morning, aren't you? Yep. Got to keep in shape. Ever since that heart scare, well, you know how it is. Not getting any younger. Why don't you come running with me sometime? You can benefit from a little exercise, too. I might take you up on that soon. But you know, Sunday's not a good day for me. Got duties at the church. Are you coming this morning? Nah, I don't think I'm going today. I got too much work to do around the house before the game comes on. And it's going to be a good game. The Heat in San Antonio. Some of the fellas are coming by this afternoon. Why don't you stop on by? Yeah, I might do that if we don't get out of church too late. <laughs> Man, you got plenty of time. Church will be out long before the game comes on. We'll see how it goes. Talk to you later, okay? All right, see you later. Okay. Come on, Duncan, come on. Come on, Duncan, we're gonna do some work. We're gonna do some work, Duncan, come on. We're gonna do some work, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Duncan. Okay, come on, Duncan. Good morning, sweetie. How are you? Is breakfast good? Lord have mercy, Jesus. What would you do without me? I don't intend to find out. You stuck with me, woman. Is that right? At least until you learn how to tie your tie and connect your gentleman's tie stay, right? <laughs> Very funny. <laughs>
Leisha, where's your brother? He's in his room. Girl, what have I told you about talking with your mouth full? Sorry. He's still in his room. Lord have mercy. Sweetie, if you're finished, will you just go upstairs and tell him to come on down? I don't want to be late for church, and we need to all leave and go together, okay? Charles! Daddy said come downstairs and eat! Alicia Renee Wilson, your father said go upstairs. Can you go upstairs, please, and tell your brother to come down to breakfast? I just need to slip into my dress when Charles comes down, and I'm ready to go. Imagine, church is going to be as crowded as it was last week. I know. I just can't wait to hear what else Pastor has to say about the rapture. I get chills just thinking about it. Sin and suffering, ooh, and pain will be gone. Think about it. Folks think ooh. we're going to be around here forever, Evelyn. But I, for one, I can't wait to get out of here. Me either. All this mess going on these days. But you know, it's happening just like it says in the Bible. Wars, famine, people killing one another over a little of nothing. Just no regard for human life at all. You know what? Heaven has got to be better than this. Charles! Man, what? Daddy said come downstairs and get ready to eat so we can leave for church. I'll be down in a minute. Daddy's gonna be mad if you don't. I said I'll be down in a minute. Daddy, girl! Oh, whatever. You make me sick. Okay, so if I come to church, will I be able to sit next to you? You can if you want my dad staring at you like you stole something the entire service. I thought you told me your dad liked me. Uh, he does. I just... I haven't told him we're dating yet. You told him you broke up with Bobby, right? Uh, not yet. No. He, he likes Bobby, and I'm not sure how he's going to react when I tell him what he did. Well, I mean, at least he didn't do it to you. Thank God he didn't do it to me. I wouldn't want my dad going to jail for murder. Murder? I'm guessing it's a good thing that Bobby stopped coming around church, huh? Yeah, and it's a good thing that you're nothing like him either. You know, he had everyone fooled, especially me. And I'm really glad I found out what he did to Jackie. Well, at least you say yourself for me. Don't start talking nasty, Charles. Nasty? How is that nasty? What did I say that was nasty? You think I'm stupid? I know what you're trying to say. OK, so you psychic now? Hello? Sharon, you still on the phone? Mm, I'm still here. OK, so do you want me to come pick you up for church or not? Sharon. Hold on. Sharon, yes? Are you dressed? Uh, e almost. Well, we're leaving for church in 10 minutes. You need to hurry up because your father has to open up service this morning, and you know how he hates to be rushed. Hurry up, Sharon. OK, Mom. I'll okay, be right man. down. Hurry. Hello? So it sounds like you're going to church with your folks. No, I can ride with you. Just. Just give me a second, and I'm gonna go ask my dad, and I'm gonna call you back. All right. All right. Lord have mercy, Jesus, boy. Is that what you wear in the church? Yeah, Mom, what's wrong with you? Oh, Charles, pull up these pants. Yeah, well, Look at here. What's going on up in here? Charles, you need to be a little more attentive to your parents. Okay. You know how much I hate that sagging and begging foolishness? Especially at church. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Lord have mercy, Evelyn. We be grateful be that the boy is even going to church, but do you know what time it is? Charles, right? son, we need to go. Come on, let's go, son. Uh, Dad, I think I'm going to drive my own car today, all right? Charles, there's no need for that. How come we can't all just go together? Mm -hmm. As a family. No, Mom. What? I need to pick up Sharon Johnson. Sharon Johnson? Yes, Sharon Johnson. Don't worry about Sharon. It's time to go. Let's go. All right, all right. Oh, if you picking her up, Charles, you need to go on. Mm -hmm. You know how full that sanctuary gets. We're going through this. Oh, my goodness. Don't forget to lock up, Charles. Okay. Alicia! Alicia, girl, come on down here. Your daddy about to have a fit. We ready to go. Alicia! Dad, your yes. suit is nice. Thank, thank you. Hey, where's, where's the rest of your dress? Mom bought me this dress. 
Dad, can I ride to church with someone else? Let me guess. Bobby? No, not Bobby. Uh-huh, I know that. I know that look. Did you two ever fight or something? Or something. Just nothing. Did he do something to you? <sighs> let's just say he wasn't who we thought he was, and let's just leave it at that. No, let's not. Let's say more. We broke up. You broke up? Why? I like Bobby Sharon. Yeah, he was a nice young man. Did, did he do something? It's private, OK? Oh. oh, no, not in this house, young lady. Now, did he? No, Mom. OK, Sharon. Ew. Well, I mean, like, at least not with me. What does that mean? Not with you. I found some stuff out, OK? Like what? Daddy. Yes? Bobby liked to smoke, and he liked to drink, and he liked to get high. I should have known. And, ugh. And what, Sharon? And you know Jackie Cutler? Uh, Mother Cutler. Mother Cutler's granddaughter? Yes. She's pregnant. Oh. Pregnant? Mm -hmm. oh. Are you telling us that that Bobby character got her yep. pregnant? Mom, that's oh, why I broke oh. up with her. Mary, I told you. I oh. told you, didn't we? These kids now oh. got too much freedom. Oh my these fast hill girls, they, they run around, can't keep their legs closed, and these nappy head boys, huh, they just this. loose like junkyard dogs. Lord, save us today. Listen, does Pastor Shields know about this? I don't know. I mean, I, 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 don't, I don't know. <sighs> Come on, Jesus. listen. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, baby, now, it's your dad. And you know you can tell me anything, right? Yeah, dad. Did this boy try to? Oh, no, Dad. No, I wouldn't even let him touch me. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I can't okay. believe this, Matthew. That must be why we haven't seen Jackie nor Mother Cutler for the past few Sundays. Hey, listen, baby, we can't worry about that. Well, you're right, baby. It's good you found out what kind of boy this was before you two got hey. any further mixed up together. Hey, Amen to that, Sharon. Now, is there anything else we need to know about? Lord, I hope not. N no, that's it. Okay. Oh, Lord Jesus. Hey, ladies, mm. it's getting late. It's time for us to go ahead and get to church, okay? You're right, baby. Let's go. All right. All right. Daddy, can I ride to church with Charles? So, wait a minute. Charles? Ch Charles who? Charles Wilson. Who, Charles? Who is that? Deacon Wilson's son. So, oh, so? Sharon. He wants to pick me up and I want to ride with him. Sharon, listen. Does that make any sense after what you've just shared with us? Mom. No. Charles is not Bobby. Uh -uh. Bobby's not Charles. Sharon. He respects me. No. And he's a Christian, and he is practically in church every single that's Sunday. That's it. That's it. It's, on, that, it's, it's the practically that concerns me. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Dad. But, Daddy, please. Listen, listen, honey. How do you know that this joker is not like the last little boy? Because he's not. That's not an answer, young lady. Matthew, listen. It's time for us to go. I do not want to be late for church. Can we go, ah. please? Your mother's right. We need to be going. Sharon, but Dad. Listen, I'm sorry. You are gonna ride with us and you can practically see Charles when you get to church. Hey, but Dad, that's Don't not... Don't but Dad me, young lady. I done said you can see that boy when we get to church. Now let's go. Come on, Sharon, let's go. Oh, and y'all supposed to be Christians? Oh, come on now. I don't need to hear that. Let's go. Hey, Sharon, I thought you said you was gonna call me back. I'm guessing you done went along church with your folks now. I ain't got no reason to go. Just call me back when you get this message. Dang, girl. Kilgore, I thought you were getting ready to go to church. Katrina, I thought I told you I wasn't going this Sunday. I went last Sunday. Isn't that good enough for you? You act as if you're punching a spiritual time clock or something. Katrina. Riley, I know you're not about to touch me with those dirty hands of yours. Come on. I asked 
asked you last night to go to church with me today, and you said you would. Yeah, but this morning, when I was outside in the yard with Duncan, I saw all the work that needed to be done around here. Duncan? Yeah. I swear, Riley, sometimes I think you care more about that dog than you care about me. Duncan doesn't wear a $30,000 mink in emerald cut diamonds. Things, Riley. They're just things. Don't you care about your soul? Don't you remember when Pastor Shields preached about last Sunday? Yeah, all that stuff about rapture. I just couldn't get into that. It scared me too much. You should be scared, Riley. Hell is a real place, and I don't want you to go there. Don't you start with me, Katrina. Riley Kilgore, you swore to me that you were going to get yourself together and start coming to church with me. <sighs> now look at you. Now that you're feeling better, you just forgot all about the promise you made. Oh. Is everything all right in here? Lisa, would you kindly remind your brother of the promise he made not only to me, but to God while oh, he laid up in that on, hospital after kidding. his heart attack? It wasn't a heart attack. It was in China. Riley, don't be like that. Don't you rile me. You are my baby sister, not my conscience. You don't have to remind me of a thing. Well, it seems like somebody has to, since your memory is slipping, old man. <laughs> Don't be like that. She's just concerned about you. It's just one Sunday. What's the big deal? You may as well forget it, Kat. My brother could be as stubborn as a mule sometimes. The only thing that's going to bring him around is God himself. He just might be a lost cause. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't believe that. Aren't you going to be late? Riley, please. Baby, baby. Not today, OK? I'll go with you next Sunday. Hell. I even give the pastor my hand in fellowship if it'll make you happy. I'm going to get the baby. I'll meet you downstairs. Okay, okay. <laughs> Riley, 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 please. Aren't you afraid you're going to get these manicured nails dirty? Riley, oh. you're not a lost cause. I love you. I love you too, baby. Next Sunday? Next Sunday, I promise. Don't make any more promises you don't intend to keep, Riley. This whole entire thing is wrong. We pay the gas bill, we pay the power bill, and we still come up short on this month's rent. Tommy, everything's going to be all right. When, Crystal? When exactly is everything going to be all right? Well, I, I work two jobs. Two. And we still can't make ends meet. We've lived here for three years. We wanted to start a family. We wanted to buy a house. And we still owe the insurance company $1,000 from when you had your surgery. How can we afford a family when we can't even afford ourselves? Well, does that mean you blame me for all of this? No, I'm not blaming you. It's just... It's just what? It's just we need to catch a break. Every month is the same thing. We go to church, we pay our tithes, we put money in the offering plate, and yet we still come up short. Where's our abundant life? Where's our overflow? Getting angry at God isn't going to solve anything. I'm not angry at God, Crystal. I'm tired and I'm frustrated. We sing songs about enlarging our territory and never seeing the righteous forsaken. But our territory gets smaller and smaller. And every month, I have to ask a creditor for an extension. Well, maybe we could ask my dad for a loan. No, absolutely not. I already can't stand the way that man looks at me. Tommy. He already thinks you married beneath you. And I still owe him a couple thousand dollars from when you had your fibroids removed. I don't care what my father thinks about you. 
I love you. You're the man I chose to marry. <laughs> I'm a whole lot more man than you married. Well, that just makes it more of you to love. <sighs> Baby, come on. It's, it's time to leave for church. You go ahead. I have to figure out where to come up with $250 by tomorrow. Well, don't you have to sing? The choir sang last Sunday. Besides, what am I going to sing about? The broke man blues? If you want to go to church and act like everything's okay, be my guest. I don't have the stomach for it. If God wants me, he knows exactly where to find me. Well, I guess I'll see you after church then? Yeah, I'm sure I'll be here. Yeah, this Miss Roundtree, who was this? Who? Mamie Cutler. Oh, yeah, hey, how you doing? Yeah, I got a few minutes. I'm about to go get my church on. Bobby. Boy, what'd he do now? He did what? He did what? Well, how you know that? Just because your granddaughter says so? Well, if she had sex with Bobby, <laughs> I would be surprised if it was her first time. Look, I don't mean no disrespect, but this is the 21st century. Do you really believe there's any virgins left? What do you mean, what do I intend to do about it? I don't intend to do nothing. Based off what your granddaughter said? Oh, they got all kind of DNA tests around here for this sort of stuff. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, I go to church. Yeah, what does that have to do with this right here? Calm down. <laughs> Calm down? You call my house on a Sunday morning. I'm trying to get ready to church. You messing up my spirit, and you want me to calm down? to me and my son. Yeah, I go to church. Like I said, I'm saved and I'm sanctified. Look, I know Bobby ain't no angel, but I ain't gonna let nobody run over me and mine. And I especially ain't gonna let no fast tail heifer saddle him down with a baby that ain't even his. Look, if this is Bobby's baby, he will take care of it. I'll make sure of that. You can believe that. <laughs> Messing up my morning. I'm trying. Bobby! Bobby, get your nail behind down here right now! Messing up my son. What am I gonna do with these boys? What, mama? I just got off the phone with Mamie Cutler. She told me you the one got her granddaughter Jackie pregnant. Pregnant? Did I stutter? Pregnant, Bobby. What do you have to say for yourself? I ain't got nothing to say, Mama, because it ain't true. I ain't do nothing to that girl. You lying to me, boy. Are you lying to no, me? No, Mama. Then no, why man. would she call her and say you got her pregnant if you didn't? I, I don't know, man. Did, did you ask her? I'm asking you, Bobby. I'm sure, baby. You been with that girl? You Give me my cigarette. You been with that girl? Tell me the truth. So, so what if I was, Mama? <laughs> I ain't do nothing to that girl she ain't want to do. What am I gonna do? Lord have mercy. I got to go down there and face those people, and I know good and well everybody at that church know what's going on. So what if they know? Mama, it ain't their business. <laughs> ain't none of their business. Lord have mercy. What am I gonna do? I don't wanna be nobody else's grandmama. I am trying my best. I'm trying my best to be a good person. Man, I know I don't go to church that much, but I done cut back on going out. I only smoke. I only drink. Two or three glasses of wine? Now I got the world with this nappy head boy going around getting girls knocked up. Mama, I don't know why you gotta be so dramatic in the first place. Mark is walking around here with three different baby mamas. You're not saying nothing to him. Do you see Marcus living in my house under my roof? No, because I put his behind out. And you know what, Bobby? If you think you so grown, you can get out 
too. Whatever. Lord have mercy. What am I going to do? I am trying my best to live a good Christian life. But I tell you what, I ain't going to let you, I ain't going to let Marcus or nobody break my heart. I'm just too young for this. <laughs> I got too many good years left. I'm glad you think so. What? What was that? I ain't say nothing. Boy, get out of my... Get out of here, Bobby. Get out of here, Bobby. What, no, whatever, no, mama. Get out of your mouth. Whatever. for church. I can't. I tried. I can't. Well, Vicky, please. I can't do this anymore. We talked about this. I thought you were getting better. I had a miscarriage, Caleb. You treat me like I had a cold. Brandon was looking forward to us going to church as a family together. Brandon, for you. Yes. Okay, yes. I want you to get up and I want you to pull yourself together so we can go to church as a family together. Is there anything wrong with that? Look. I know this is a tough time for you. It's a tough time for everybody, Vicki. You weren't the only one that lost something, you know? It was my baby, too. It's not the same. I know it's not the same, Vicki. I've never once said it was the same. But I'm still grieving. Why don't you get ready and we'll go to church and we'll get Papa to pray with us. Because we got to get past this, okay? We have to start healing. I'm trying, Vicky, okay? I, I am. I am. I'm trying. There is nothing to say. There is nothing to do, okay? I have prayed. I did everything I was supposed to do. I followed all the rules. Do you have any idea? This is not the way it's supposed to be, Caleb. This, this is, this is not the plan that God showed me. I, I'm supposed to be a wife, I am supposed to be a mother. You are a wife and a mother. You have me. And we have Brandon. This is my second miscarriage. Do you have any idea how that makes me feel? Do you understand? What am I doing wrong? Please tell me, God, please. Why is God doing this to me? V, 
Peki. I don't know, but we adopted once. We can do that again. I want to give you my husband children. You have. You have. No. We have Brandon. No. Isn't he enough? Caleb, I thought he would be. I I know he should be. I love him. I love him, please. Oh. I'm so thankful for him, but Caleb, I just work out of milk. How long have you been there, buddy? Mommy, are you sad that I'm here? No, baby. No. <sighs> Mommy loves you. I wouldn't trade you for anything in the world, honey. I'm just... I'm just sad about the little brother or sister we talked about. Are you sorry that you adopted me? No. Adopting you was one of the best things that's ever happened to me. The best day of my life. Can we be a family again? Like we used to be? You don't smile anymore. You don't laugh anymore. Please come to church with us. I will. I'm gonna come next time, okay? Do you remember when you told me that adoption was special? You said it meant more because it was on purpose. Just like God adopted us. You chose me. Are you ready to give me back? No, Brady, come here. Oh. Come here, buddy. Don't ever say something like that, okay? We would never give you back. Our son in every way that matters, okay? We love you. And we'll always be God's children. I am. Um, I want you guys to get ready for church, okay? Go with your dad. Mommy's gonna work on getting better. And I'm gonna come next Sunday. Would that be okay? Hey, buddy, why don't you get your jacket and we'll grab some breakfast on the way to church, okay? Okay, Daddy. Vicky, I really wish you'd go to church with us. It's not too late. It's past seven. Just go.
in the way. Maybe you can play some ball. Maybe I don't have to hit you in the eye. Maybe you don't have to move that like Hey, come on. Sunday, it's Sunday, man. It's Sunday. They said break it up. It's Sunday, man. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, 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 wait. Go check out that dude, man. Ain't you Tony Lister? Yeah, I'm Tony Lister. Hey, Tony Lister. Tony Lister. That's D-Bow. 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 Check this out. Check this out. You know the beginning of the movie? They got them ice cubes, though? Yeah. 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 Hey, excuse me. <laughs> Are y'all ready for Jehovah's Return? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you The question yeah, yeah, yeah. is, are you ready for Jehovah's Return? You know, you have to come on your house on Saturday. If Jehovah came back right now, would you make it? What you doing here? I'm on my way to church. Church? That's exactly where y'all need to be, in church. Well, look, you see, hold on, man. Hey, I was on my way, but I decided to come by and put something in this basket before I put something in that basket. (laughs) (laughs) The Sunday morning rapture. If Jehovah came back right now, would you make it in? They are some fools, man. No. Man, my mom be talking about that crap sometimes, you know? The rapture, Jesus coming back. Well, y'all heard of Pac, right? Tupac Shakur, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I did this last movie called Gang Related. And I had an opportunity to tell him about this gangster named Jesus Christ. I punked out here, told him who Jesus Christ was to get him ready for the rapture. So I'm telling y'all real talk, how many times have y'all watched my movie? I'll tell you what. Hey, how you gonna take the ball from me like that? Listen up. This is the game we're gonna play. If I make this shot, everybody's in church with me, alright? We about to make this more interesting for us right now. So we all benefit from this. So if you make that ball. That basket, that, 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 that basket right there, mm-hmm. then we'll go to church with you. Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, 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 I gave you the diamond watch, too. I, I, oh, 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 oh. Y'all get some clean shirts. What? What are you talking about? Hey, come on, come on. Man. I pray that those in the world who will hear this sermon will be convicted today. Jesus said in the 22nd verse, many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works. And then Jesus said, I will profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So robes and positions and titles and classifications and auxiliaries and departments and works and paying your tithe and paying your dues will not save you. So my prophetic word to you this morning is get ready. But if you want to be raptured, you must be born again. You must be washed in the blood of the Lamb. Breaking news happening right now. There appears to be a rash of catastrophic incidents taking place across the state. Witnesses are calling into the station as well as notifying police that they're seeing cars colliding into one another on local streets and interstates. And the bizarre thing is, the cars have no drivers. Jesus, do you think this could really be another 9-11? 
I don't know. What's on the other stations? Este ha sido una mañana muy espantosa de un catástrofe después del otro. Hay informes de personas que se han desaparecido en todas partes de Go back to the other going on. You don't have to speak Spanish, can you go? Just look. We are still experiencing the aftershocks of a massive earthquake that have devastated this entire region. From what I've been able to ascertain, violent coastal waters have floated many of the cities that border the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. We have just been informed to seek shelter, to get to the highest elevation, to cover ourselves from floating tremors. If you want to go to church and act like everything's okay, be my guest. I don't have the stomach for it. God wants me. He knows exactly where to find me. With the benefit of my English speaking beers, it seems to be very horrible things going on. No one can explain for. Citizens all over in Seoul, Korea were here one moment and going the next. We cannot be sure if this is an alien attack or a terrorist attempt. We've been reporting on the bizarre phenomenon that seems to be happening not just here in this country, but all over the world. The President of the United States and other government officials have issued a nationwide terror alert and have asked that all Americans try to... I'm guessing you don't want to go to church with your folks now. I ain't got no reason to go. What's going on? Mama! Daddy! What's wrong with this guy? Mama! Daddy! Thank you, Gina. As you have been reporting all morning, there are unexplained events going on seemingly throughout the world. Apparently, I'll go next week, man. Next Sunday, man. I'm, I'm not going this week. There are people running from their homes and office buildings into the streets, screaming in sheer terror that the world as we know it has indeed come to its end. The military. I want you guys to get ready for church, OK? Go with your dad. And I'm gonna come next Sunday. Biblical proportions. If this is to be Armageddon, may God have mercy on our souls. That was Lars Kennedy reporting from London.
I went to seminary and graduated top of my class with honors. I got my master's in theology and biblical studies, just like you, son, just like you. But none of that means anything now. I'm an old man, and I've been an old fool. All the preaching and the teaching that I've done over the past 40 years doesn't mean anything now. I pointed people to that cross. I'm too ashamed to admit that I needed to go there for myself. I left position and title cloud my judgment. Stand in the way of my own salvation. And now I gotta pay the price. Oh Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Lord.